Yo, what is up everybody? Smeegus here back with another video. Today we're gonna be filming my 2020 snowboard gear setup. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys, so first we're gonna start out from the feet to the head. So first, we're gonna start out with the boots. So what I wear for my boots is I have the DC Travis Rice boots. I've been wearing these since Christmas. They have been working really well. I really like the feel of them. They're a pretty stiff boot. It's a nine out of 10. So that's definitely gonna get you that response you want. So if you're more into like backcountry or like off mountain kind of stuff i would definitely suggest these boots They're, they work amazing for that and if you do want to go into a, the park a little bit you can definitely do that still with these boots all right next up we have the quicksilver travis rice snow pants these snow pants i've been running since last year they're working amazing so what they are is they're waterproof and they're super flexible so they have a lot of stretch to them that way if you're landing a big jump you're definitely going to be able to have a lot of movability in these so they're super stretchy which i like so much and the fact that they're going to keep you dry all day is a huge bonus to that so i really enjoy these i would definitely suggest looking at these next up we have this quicksilver jacket i've been wearing this one for probably about two years now it's been just a really awesome jacket it's kept me warm in those like negative 20 days which is awesome but it's just a great all-around jacket i really like it so i would suggest checking this one out also next up we have the decaying gloves i've been wearing these for i want to say a year or two years now these have also been really good i really like these they keep my hands warm i'm gonna try and link all my gear down in the description down below so you guys can check out all the gear that i rock all season long also i do have another pair of gloves by neff as last year i showed it in my gear review from last year i'll link the video up there or there either side i'm not sure which but anyways i'll link that video there but i mentioned my neff gloves i'll show you a little close-up of it uh they work really good for like them spring days and just like learning grabs and stuff because it has that like really sticky like inside for like the palm and thumb of your hand so you can really lock onto the grabs i really like those gloves i was just wearing them last time i was out on the hill so they're just a great glove all around they're not as warm as the decine ones but they're still a really good glove next up we have the buff or neck warmers what these are is i got this one in jackson hole it's their 50th anniversary i got that probably three years ago now. So I've been rocking this one for a long time. It's really kept my face warm even in those really cold days. I just love this one. It's kept me really warm. I really like the feel of it. It's nice and soft and it does have uh, sun protection so that way you don't get sunburnt when you're out in the mountains or even here in Minnesota. So new this season, I did get the Air Hole, which is a company that makes face masks that you can put over your nose and mouth and it has a little cutout for your uh, mouth. That way you can breathe freely. I've been wearing that one new this year, so I really like that one also. Next up, we have the 509 goggles. I've been rocking these for, I would say about a year or two now they've been really working out good i really like these ones they have lots of flexibility they work great i like the goggle strap also it keeps it solid on my head that way it doesn't move around and make it uncomfortable so i really like these goggles i've been wearing these as i said for a year now they've been great barely fog up at all i don't think they've really fogged up on the mountain once so they've been working out great i really like these goggles next up probably the thing that i get the most questions on is my helmet how did you get your helmet how is it the red bull helmet and to tell you the truth i just ordered stickers and put them on my helmet uh that's that's how i got all these red bull stickers and stuff everyone asks me that so that's that's the answer is i just ordered stickers and put it on because i really like you know red bull the company so i i just made this 
I want to say two years ago. I've been wearing it since then, and it's just a great helmet. It's actually made by Pac, so I really like Pac also. I like the shape of their helmets with the vents and everything, so I really like this helmet. See this? These are some flux capacitors. Flux capacitor. All right, anyways, new for this year is the brand new 2020 LibTech Orca. As you can see, it looks like a Orca killer whale. You already know. So anyways, this is a brand, this is Travis Rice's uh, powder board. So as you can see here, it says T Rice with his signature uh, three water droplets or whatever the heck it is. But anyways, I got this brand new in the 147. I got it over the summer. It's really cool. And then I just have some stickers on it, you know, the Union Binding GoPro DC Quicksilver footprint insoles. Please sponsor me. Uh, and Red Bull, of course. And to combine it, I got it with the Union Binding Falcor bindings. So these are really cool. Uh, these are the 2019. So they have the forged carbon high back. And of course, you got to go with the Travis Rice Pro model again. Uh, definitely a huge inspiration on me was Travis Rice and I just love rocking all of his gear because it's high performance and it works really well. So I, I really like these bindings. They have very high performance. Definitely will get you those turns when you need it and that quick response. So the, this whole combination works really well. Of course, it has the magnet traction, which is a serrated edge down the snowboard, as you can sort of see. Uh, and then another really cool feature on the Orca is its tail. That's like a really da cool down sweep. And then the tail just kicks right up which will give you lots of pop and it works really well. So it'll give you a really snappy pop and you can ride switch as I have done before. I've landed some trick switch on this because it does have that sh sharp pick up tail, which is really good. So I overall really love this board. I would definitely suggest checking this out if you want to do some backcountry or just bomb it down the hill doing some crazy carves this thing can really lay down an edge and i just love this board actually union bindings i mentioned them in one of my stories and they did a heart icon it here i'll pull up my dms those cameras those are really quality you're not going to be getting that potato quality when you're rocking apple <laughs> unlike some other phone companies. <laughs> union bindings they also liked it. Please sponsor me. I use I use your bindings on all my snowboard park board. I've been using this snowboard for a really long time. I want to say this is my third season on it. So I've been using this one for a long time. It's definitely getting pretty small as you can see. It's down to like my chest area. So it's getting small, but you can really whip this thing around in the park. Like you can hit rails. Uh, because the edges on this thing are pretty non-existent. They really don't like have an edge anymore. It's, it's pretty dead, but that means that you won't catch on rails. So <laughs> that's, that's a benefit of this one. Uh, as you can see all last season, I was using this board everywhere I went. I mean, this board really worked really well. I said really a lot. This board works really well. Uh, when snowboarding in the park this one I still really like riding every now and then uh, and of course it does have the union binding contract pros on it is it contract contact pros said contract but uh, these bindings are also really good union bindings riding those three years same as the board so I really like this one uh, yeah it's just a great board for in the park I mean it's got quite a bit of flex to it can really take it everywhere you want to go and i didn't show this on the orca but i did add crab grabs probably the best stomp pad you can get because one that doesn't look like a traditional stomp pad and two you can use it for grabs so it gives you something to grab onto instead of your hands slipping off so i really like uh the crab grabs i have it both on this one and the orca as you guys could probably see from that last clip but I really do like both these LibTech snowboards. They've been working out great, so I would suggest checking them out. Next up, we have our backcountry gear. So I got the Float 12 BCA 
snowboard big. I've been riding this since last spring. I took it out to Big Sky, if you guys saw that part, those three part series of snowboarding in Big Sky. It's a great video. David Jones watched it, if you know who he is. Uh, anyways, I really like this big, and inside of it, it can have all your avalanche gear. Since it is an avalanche bag, that means, see this little thing? If you pull this, it's gonna explode, as you can see. There you go. As you can see, it's fully inflated and you're not gonna like snap your neck also and this is going to keep you on top of the snow so if you're buried in the snow follow me you're buried in the snow this thing's going to keep you afloat that way you don't get trapped under the snow that's the vca avalanche 12 2.0 it's pretty quality you can even snowboard with that oh yeah So like the probe you can see here, done messed that up. See if I was in an avalanche situation, <laughs> person would be dead by now. I don't know what the heck just happened. This is a major L. Okay, anyways, I have this. There we go. Now we can poke our humans in the snow, as you can see, pretty legit. Fine for humans search look at that look at this quality as you can see it'll stab through really icy chunks of snow with ease find those humans also made by bca backcountry access you guys were wondering uh but yeah this probe's pretty sick never had to use it hope i never use it but if I do, I know how to use it. We have uh, the Backcountry Access, again, plug, plug Backcountry Access. They make the best Backcountry gear y'all will find. Uh, our Avalanche Shovel, as you can see, to find humans in the snow. This thing, as, here, let me, let me, let me dig a little bit, you already know. Test that out in the real life, you know, you're finding your victim with the probe it's over there but anyways let's say the human is here find your humans with this shovel it's quality super lightweight backcountry access sponsor me I, I guess we back again. All right, since we are on the topic of avalanche gear, that way we can actually track people in the snow. As you can see, 92% battery. All right, so here we have the Demos Shovel X Jackson Hole. So it's a collab with uh, Demos, which is made in Jackson Hole, and the ski resort Jackson Hole. As you can see, that's their logo. So anyways, this shovel is I would have to say the best shovel you could get for building jumps because the reason for that is one, it's it's not gonna break. You can drive a car over this thing and it's not gonna break. Uh, two, it has a really long shaft. So that means that you can dig snow and not be breaking your back in half. Uh, but anyways, it like works really well. Like you can just shape the jump. It has like a really smooth backside works perfect for shaking jumps and then if you want you can flip it around and get that corduroy that nice quality corduroy as you can see so this shovel just works really good i've had this for two years now uh i love it it's it's amazing it's very high quality linked in description check it out all right so this is the gopro hero 8 black it's it's a great camera i've been using it it has some crazy stabilization so they have this new feature called boost so if you go like this boost is now on so now if you look at this ready 
see how much I'm shaking this around? You could never think in a million years that this would be smooth. Well, guess what? I'm, I'm about to prove y'all's wrong. So now if you look at this, ready? See how much I'm shaking this around? You could never think in a million years that this would be smooth. Isn't that crazy? Shout out to GoPro for making this incredible camera. It's, it's pretty legit. Uh, the other camera that I'm filming with this season is the one that's being filmed right now. As you can see, I have my filmer right there. Uh, this is the Canon M50. It's pretty legit. These are like my two main camera gear. And then I do just have the video micro, but he's the camera boy right there. Say hi, Birch Rock Productions. I'll link his channel somewhere. Uh, he makes videos also. But anyways, this is his microphone. I have my own. But anyways, this is the camera. This camera is mine. It's quality. I've been using it since last year. So it's pretty legit. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you could do all those, those would all help me out so much. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And until next time, peace.